Welcome to the Acrobat Lounge. He's Steve Fair. I'm Steve Dotto. We're learning all about Acrobat. And one of the really neat things that Acrobat does is it installs its functionality in other applications. Right. It crosses over because PDF has to be in so many different places. But beyond PDF, a lot of the functionality that's built into Acrobat 9 needs to be in multiple places. And one of the places it needs to be our email, Outlook. Mm, no doubt. No doubt. I mean, uh, you know, as you and I have talked about for years, uh, you know, I've been doing computing for an awful long time, and we still don't fully understand where all these things are going in our email application. I don't. It's just confusing. I mean, I have an extensive foldering system that I try and put everything in its proper folder so that's available to me when I want it to be. But I've got this archiving thing going on. <laughs> I really don't know where these things go. But from a responsibility point of view, you need to archive all of your email for a long period of time, especially when you're project-based, especially when you're doing, when doing contract work. You need that audit trail of what happened. So how do you effectively create that? Well, I mean, Outlook is extremely good at many, many things, and most of us probably couldn't live without Outlook. Mm -hmm. But from that perspective, when a project is done, much of the communication around projects today is done via email. Yeah, mm -hmm. Steve, go ahead and do that. Yeah, I've got budget for it. Yeah, I approve of that. It's fantastic. Great. Here's this link. Go to this website. Try. You know, it's all done via email. That stuff is really, really important. Um, to save after a project is done, but it's, it's hard to do. Especially when the lawsuits begin to fly. Well, yeah, I mean, it, it's going to be one thing if you've got to kind of cover your butt, and it's a completely different thing if a lawyer is calling you. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah exactly. So, uh, one of the things that Acrobat installs when you install Acrobat 9 is the ability to create email images, uh, email messages, pardon me, and turn them into PDFs. And here's the really cool thing. During the creation of this sort of podcasting project, I stuffed everything into a Dotto project folder. And here it is. Now, if I right-click on the folder and I come down and say convert Dotto project to Adobe PDF, it's going to take everything in that folder, all of the email messages, all of the links, all of the email addresses, all that stuff, and all it's going to convert it into all the attachments, absolutely, in their native file format, and it's going to stuff them into a really cool PDF. Okay. And it looks something like this. Now, that goes beyond what you think just on the surface. It's all stuffed into a PDF, but it's also searchable within the PDF. That's one of the real strengths. So we can go through now, we can search within it, we can find the documents that we need, the related documents. This is really powerful. Yeah, when we demo this to people, they usually just stop. I mean, it just shakes the room up. The ability to take all this stuff and use it as a meaningful part of the project archive and all that kind of stuff is uh, jaw-dropping for most people when they see it demonstrated. No, it creates a big honking file, but it's a big honking, really useful file. Well, it's, it's, it's just, it is what it is. I mean, the, it's, it's compressing, like mm -hmm. you would have normal compression technology if you're doing a zip or something like that. So it's compressing, but it's putting it all in one place. And then you can put it where it needs to be for the life of that project. And it can be properly stored, archived, and you're not searching through thousands of things to find something. It's all right there. It's all right there. Simply click back and forth on the different PDF uh, mail messages. All the links are there. All that stuff is great. I mean, who knows in 25 years if we're going to be using any particular application, but this can be saved in a format that's archivable and it's, it's a you know, proven archive standard. This is a tool you should use and you should instill as best practices within your business. Email archiving, it could save your company. Mm. Visit www.acrolounge.com and sign up to win one of 10 iPod Touches. Good luck.